it's sufficient because the document that exists here, so the draft Novi, and the document that exists in Belgium, the strategic note for the BRV, the Beleidsplan, the policy plan for Flanders, special policy plan for Flanders, both in fact clarify that we are looking towards a new approach uh, in terms of planning, but are failing for the moment to name a real approach. And I think the question is whether you consider that a real problem or a shared uh, challenge. And I think in that sense, the Novi uh, draft is sufficient reason to really pick up that question alone, you could say, in the Netherlands, but also connect it to the challenges we face. And I think the, if I look at both documents, the both, both uh, what has, has been developed in Flanders and what is uh, under development here, both unfinished and both saying we actually need to make sure that the passage à l'acte, a very beautiful French uh, expression, how can we go from intentions and beautiful words to facts on the ground, that passage à l'acte is really a challenge. And I think that's where both uh, regions or parts of this delta will need to work together. And why more specifically? I think the Netherlands comes from a kind of more structured approach where <coughs> the major challenges have led to a a form of belief in collective uh, uh, approaches, in planning, uh, which means that you had a system in which an analysis of a problem could lead to an advice and could lead to action, and then a lot of poldering would make sure it lands on the ground. Flanders has, uh, is a country where even planning as such has been attacked as unconstitutional because it would hinder the liberties of every individual citizen. So building up planning in Flanders is a completely different story. But in fact, at this moment in time, we, we face the, main, the same challenge. We come from different cultures, you could say, in the same delta and face the same challenge. We cannot reduce planning to large infrastructural choices. We cannot reduce uh, planning to land use. We need to find ways to deal with the transitions. Uh, and both uh, parts of the delta will need to really do that in common because you can't solve the water problem until the border. Um, and that means we need to go into the veins of our problem. And so instead of thinking of the larger uh, nodes and crossing points and infrastructures, the problems present themselves in the streets, the neighborhoods, the creeks, uh, and it's there where we will need to find new solutions, where we don't only think from the sectoral approach of water and then uh, think it will be solved. We will we'll need to have an integrated approach in terms of land um, agricultural transition, water management, local coalitions uh, stepping in with farmers and so on. So we can only realize real change. Real transition means change of behavior, of economic models on the ground. And how do we build frameworks for a kind of viral transformation in this delta in every creek, in every street, in every neighborhood? And that's the only way to really address the big challenges. So an incredibly intriguing time for planners because the top-down view really can only be built by a multitude of bottom-up, you could say, uh, or local initiatives better. Yeah, I think we always face the problem of water in all its uh, varieties, you could say. Um, and I think that's where I think it would start. The, one of the main qualities we, we have is a very rich water uh, uh, system, but then hence also a very fertile soil. And that soil is dying, literally. And if that soil dies, it means we do not have the capacity to produce food in a normal way. We do not have the capacity to stock water, which is really problematic with peaks of drought and peaks of rain. And so our common endeavor is to go back to the soil, but then uh, really uh, in an approach where we actually reconstruct uh, that soil, improve the quality, and that requires action in the farming environments, you could say, where we have replaced soil, we have seen so soil as something in which you put uh, nutrients so that actually something can grow. We need to rebuild that soil, but also in cities where the climate adaptation really needs that soil. Without that soil, infiltration, stocking of water, um, cooling of cities is impossible. So I think we, we actually could name something very atypical eh, uh, as something that is really our common endeavor. I could name a second one, for example, the circular economy transition. Why are we a delta? Why are we, why are, who sees us as a delta? People working in the global economy sees this as one port system. That port system is 80, 75, 80, 85 percent linked to fossil fuels and finite resources. It means that if we, uh, that's what the mayor of Rotterdam beautifully said, will the port of Rotterdam, and in fact our whole delta, be the fossil relic of the 21st century? 
or can it be the avant-garde of the circular economy transition? So also there, we really need to not compete each other down into the fossil pit, but actually upward towards the circular economy. So we, we see, I can name two very distinct trajectories around which distinct coalitions will need to be built in this delta, but two fields where we really will need to make the, the difference to, to maintain two of our common strengths. We have a delta with a fertile soil, a rich water system, a enabling to produce uh, and to cope with the, the, diff the, the changes in water system. But also we have a, a port system that has always changed over the past centuries, but now we'll need a new change in order to be able the avant-garde of the uh, future. And that includes uh, the port of Antwerp and Zeebrugge as well? That includes the port of Antwerp and Zeebrugge and the port of uh, Rotterdam and the port of Amsterdam, but also the hinterland ports. And I think we, we really have, we, think, we always think of the crucial projects. Eh? Um, and the crucial projects are always the large-scale projects. But in fact, it's quite crucial to really think of the distributed projects. And eh? we have, the, one of the biggest changes in the public transport system has been the station environments in the Netherlands. They become the lobbies of the city. But in fact, the, the places where the circular economy transition will be built will be in these hinterland, these, 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 uh, uh, in the ports, but also in the hinterland. So if, how can we make the kind of uh, circular uh, places where the circular economy can actually flourish that requires action everywhere? And so as long as we think on the, uh, if we reduce thinking of planning to the large questions and to the national scale uh, infrastructures, then we can never solve the transitions. It, we need to really deep dive and find the places where we can actually organize this viral transformation. Systemic change is not at the higher scale. Systemic change is in the veins of a system.